welcome students to the quick solution of all india akash test series medical 2021 this is chemistry test number 3 code c and code d for two year medical conducted on 1st of december 2019 let's proceed with the first question of chemistry which is question number 46 one bar pressure is equals to the options are 9.87 atm 0.987 atm 1.02 atm or 1.2 atm so students first of all we need to know that the value of one bar pressure is slightly lesser than the value of one atm pressure the exact relation is one bar pressure is equals to 0.987 atm that means the correct answer for this question is option number Two. Moving to next question, which is forty-seven. In a closed vessel with rigid walls, with one degree increase in temperature of a gas at zero degree Celsius, its pressure increases by, where P naught is the pressure of gas at zero degree Celsius. The options are two P naught, P naught upon two seventy-three point one five. 273.15 p not or p not upon 10 so students first of all we need to know that for this question gay lussac law is applied which states that pressure of a fixed amount of gas varies directly with temperature so we can say that pressure is directly proportional to t or we can say that pressure upon temperature is equals to constant or we can say that p1 upon t1 is equals to p2 upon t2 which is a constant value so let's start the question student the value of p1 is p not given in the question at temperature 0 degree celsius in kelvin which is 273.15 so p not upon 273.15 is equals to p final which we have to calculate and the increase in temperature is 1 degree celsius that means in kelvin the value of temperature is 274.15 so now we can calculate the value of p final which is p not upon 273.15 So now let's calculate change in pressure, which is equals to P final minus P not, which is two seventy four point one five P not upon two seventy three point one five minus P not, which is equals to two seventy four point one five P not minus two seventy three point one five P not upon Two seventy three point one five, which ultimately equals to P not upon two seventy three point one five. That means the correct answer for this question is option number two. Moving to next question, which is forty eight. Let's see the question, students. The gas which has a maximum rate of diffusion under similar conditions of temperature and pressure is the options are o2 o3 n2o or co2 so students first of all we need to know that under similar conditions of temperature and pressure the rate of effusion or diffusion of different gases is inversely proportional to the square root of their molecular masses so that means rate of diffusion is inversely proportional to the square root of molecular mass so this means the gas with least molecular mass has highest rate of diffusion so let's see which gas has the least molecular mass let's start with o2 the mass is 32 g 
Then we have O3, the mass is 48 gram. Next we have N2O, the mass is 44 gram. And the last we have CO2, which has mass 44 gram. So it is very clear that O2 has the highest rate of effusion because the molecular mass of O2 among the given options is least. So the correct answer for this question is option number 1. Moving to next question, which is 49. Let's read the question, students. Which of the following mixture of gases is most likely to obey Dalton's law of partial pressure? The options are HCl and NH3. Next is CH4 and O2. The next is CO2 and helium. And the last is H2 and Cl2. So students, first of all, we need to know that Dalton's law of partial pressure is applied for non-reacting gases. So first of all, we have to identify that which mixture of gases are non-reacting. And that will be the mixture which is most likely to obey Dalton's law of partial pressure. Let's start with the first option which is HCl and NH3. Since we know HCl is an acid, ammonia which is NH3 is our base. And acid and base combines to form a salt. Here, ammonium chloride will be formed. So, these gases, that is ammonia and HCl, are reacting gases. Let's move to the next option, which is CH4 and O2. These gases also react and the resultant reaction is a combustion reaction. Moving to the next option, which is CO2 and helium. It is very clear that helium is an inert gas belonging to noble gases, that is group number 18. So, that means CO2 and helium are non-reacting gases. Moving to next option, H2 and Cl2. These gases also combine to give HCl. So the correct answer for this question is option number 3. CO2 and helium are non-reacting gases and are most likely to obey Dalton's law of partial pressure. That means the correct answer for this question is option number 3. Moving to next question which is 50. The gas which is most easily liquefied is the options are H2, CO2, N2 or H2O. So students, first of all, we need to discuss that on what factors liquefaction of a gas depends. So let's start students. The gas which has higher critical temperature will be most easily liquefied. So we have to analyze that among the given options, which gas has the highest critical temperature. Starting with H2, H2 is a non-polar molecule. Moving to CO2, this is again a non-polar molecule. N2, again a non-polar molecule. H2O is a polar molecule. It forms intermolecular hydrogen bonding. We can say that the critical temperature of H2O is highest among the given options. As a result, we can say that H2O is most easily liquefied among the given gases. That means the correct answer for this question is option number 4. Moving to next question which is 51. 